Hello, YouTube. A very interesting uh, Russian, a new Russian expedition is underway now. It has important tasks before it, and some of the projects are related to paranormal research. I would love to flatter myself and say that uh, they must have watched my videos about the Russian Arctic paranormal history and cases, but I am sure they, those who organized the expedition, have their own information and some want urgent need to proceed. Let's look at all the aspects based on open source reports. I will make comments as we go along. Um, see, when you explore the north, you find a map of this Soviet heritage in Russia nowadays. So a unique expedition named Pure Arctic uh, Vostok 77 has started from the city of Murmansk. Actually, it's for the first time in 40 years that a high-altitude unique expedition has started from Murmansk. I wonder what was the 1983 expedition and if it had to do with the top secret research of the unidentified submersible objects which had frequented Soviet waters. But let's get back to the present. First group of scientists will be on the vessel Klavdia Lanska, commanded by the invariable captain of the area, Nikolai Rapatsevich, who has been sailing for more than 50 years. I think this is significant because he now, he is one of those who had seen uh, the very interesting projects that took place in the 1970s when the Arctic was fortified. And we know very little, really, about that program. But Murmansk, as the place on the edge of the earth, so to say, is chosen as the starting or final point for many large-scale uh, trips. The high latitude unique expedition Pure Arctic Vostok 77 was no exception. The participants of which, among them representatives of the scientific community and volunteers, they held a symbolic start to the first stage of the expedition on August 15 at the Murmansk Regional Museum of Local Lore. The deputy governor of the region, Oksana Dimchenko, voiced the welcoming speech of the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, and wished the participants a good journey and valuable discoveries. My comment, Vladimir Putin is rebuilding the Russian presence in the Arctic due to the geopolitical realities and confrontation with NATO states. There have been other specialized expeditions, and now this one now. Volunteers are on board, I think, as some sort of decoration, but I'm certain that there are Navy intelligence personnel on board too, most likely among the scientists. That's normal. Russia is not unique in this. The scientific high-latitude expedition Pure Arctic Vostok 77 is unique. Again, the first one in 40 years. Um, we support the scientific community and, of course, appreciate their contribution to our common future, Oksana Demchenko said. In difficult climatic conditions, more than 200 fundamental studies will be conducted in the fields of geography, economics and sociology. All of them are important for the Arctic zone and strengthening its industrial and natural potential. What will be such a large-scale journey? So during the expedition to the continental part of the Arctic, the expert will study the state of the tundra and permafrost soils, evaluate modern transport infrastructure and communications. The main goal is to make maps of the industrial heritage of the USSR, to assess the quality and quantity of waste in the Arctic in order to understand how to restore order there. It is important to build a map of what we have brought and left there for over um, for the past 80 years. 
it's even dangerous to let volunteers near some garbage. We don't know what it consists of. It is necessary to explore all these territories, said the head of the expedition, the head of the project office, Clean Arctic, Andrei Nagibin. The teams will change at every stage. I advise you to stock up on popcorn and watch a diary of our expedition. We will publish it every week. In total, more than 700 people will be involved in the project. But of course, not all of them will go to explore the tundra. Some specialists will receive material from the participants on the spot. In just one year, volunteers and scientists, including researchers from more than 20 centers of the Russian Academy of Sciences and federal universities, will overcome 12,000 kilometers and cross 11 time zones. The itinerary runs through 19 regions of Russia. My comment, it is a very comprehensive expedition, and they might possess the files of the Soviet projects <clears throat> undertaken earlier to develop the Arctic. If you read my book, Russia's USO Secrets, you would understand the secrecy involved, and, and, and the secrecy largely remains. Even we don't live in the Stalinist times or Brezhnev times, the secrecy remains. Please also see my videos about the Russian Arctic. I suspect that sooner or later the Russians would go back to the elaborate plans regarding the Arctic and listen carefully, revive the infrastructure already in place and restart the very complicated facilities built decades ago, but mothballed, so to say. Each scientific center of the Russian Academy of Sciences has its own tasks in this expedition. So at this stage in the Murmansk region, we will look at the situation with the microplastics, examine the objects of accumulated damage, and analyze whether it can be removed. Also, experts will conduct water sampling to understand what the Gulf Stream brought with it, explained Andrei Nagibin. Then a large group of sociologists will join the walk-in trip. We will find out how different ethnicities live now, Komi Ijemts, Sami, Pomors, and so forth. The scientific curator of the expedition is Konstantin Kotkin, an employee of the Museum of Local Lore, associate professor of the Department of Philosophy and Social Sciences. He, has, he just has to collect data for a sociological study. It is very important that the participants will come into contact with different sciences. Who knows, maybe the collected data will be used by other scientists in 100 years. To be honest, I envy everyone very much, in a good way, the scientists admonished. The first participants of the important journey sailed on the ship Klavdia Lanska from the Kola Bay. Um, there are also young volunteers on board who will help scientists in their hard work. The team's paths runs along the Barents Sea, along the Kola Peninsula to the White Sea. In the Pamor village of Chapama, the expedition will go ashore, having overcome 325 nautical miles. Then the team will go to Umba, part of the itinerary which runs through the tundra and base of the Terce coast with a length of 120 kilometers. The group will pass on food and the, uh, at the ready with special equipment, there, they, there, they will take samples of water and sand, soil uh, from the surf. In the future, the group will start collecting data as part of sociological study in the territories of traditional Sami residents. The itinerary will run to Revda, Lov Ozero, and Apatiti. After the research of the Kola Peninsula, the next stages of the expedition will begin in Karelia and Arhangelsk where they will already be at their own tasks. For example, scientists will study the influence of shamanism on local indigenous people. The expedition will not be suspended in the winter. So in Yakutia, the participants will go to study the place where mammoths have been gradually dying for about 500 years. The expedition will end one year later, on August 15, 2024, in Kamchatka. So... The itinerary will take them to the Kola Peninsula with its ancient mysteries, very interesting ones, 
And you should really watch my videos because few people in the, in the West even understand what's going on there. But Kola Peninsula is a very, very cool paranormal territory. Also, they'll go to the Barren Sea. <laughs> you can gauge the importance of this part of the itinerary after you watch my videos, I'm absolutely certain. There'll be research of UFOs and UFOs, unidentified submersible objects too during the course of the expedition, and very interesting paranormal secrets, of course, of the Kola Peninsula per se, like I said, and, and other areas. As for the shamans, or shamans, Vladimir Putin has visited them in the north before and attributes certain importance to the phenomenon. And you can see, I'll put a link uh, to my Arctic videos playlist and the one about Putin visiting the shamans. So stay tuned. They promise a diary. We'll try to read the diary every week and see if anything interesting is published there. So keep uh, watching my videos, and if you like my research, you can help me, you can support me through the links you will find in the description. And uh, please tell others about my channel. Please like my videos. Thank you for your support.